Hi everyone, my name is Dominique. What's your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you and I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm really excited because today we get to read one of my favorite stories. But before we get into that, I'm going to need some help from you to help me sing the hello song. What do you think? It's really easy. So I'm going to sing the first part and then I'm going to point at you and you're going to repeat after me and sing the second part. Ready? And a one, and a two, and a three, let's go. Hello friends. Hello friends. How are you? How are you? Very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Awesome. Thank you so much for helping me. Okay, now let's get started. I'm going to be reading a story called Benny the Bee. It's a story about a bee named Benny who gets lost from home, but luckily he meets a girl named Celeste who helps him find his way back. I love this story because Benny and Celeste both learn and teach each other so much about teamwork. Alright, let's get This is Benny Bee. He is a small bee, but he belongs part to a big family. Today, Benny was out looking for some pollen and he saw some beautiful flowers over by the play structure. What about you? Do you have a little family like me or a big family like Benny? That's so cool. But he went too far from his beehive and now he can't find his way back home. Benny looks around and he sees a little girl playing in the sandbox. He decides to ask her for some help. Uh-oh, I wonder what Benny's feeling right now. Do you think he's scared, sad? How would you feel? I would be scared. Hello, I'm Benny. I'm lost. Can you help me on my way back to my beehive? Benny asks the girl with the worried look. The girl smiles and says, of course I'll help you. My name is Celeste. What about you? Would you help Benny? I would too. Celeste and Benny start to venture around the playground, searching for the beehive. Why do you need to get back, Benny? asked Celeste. Well, because it takes all of the bees to make the perfect honey, Benny cries. Do you have any ideas where his beehive could be? That's a good guess. Every bee has a different but important job to do so we can make honey, Benny tells Celeste. Some bees, like me, go out and search for the best pollen we can find, but there are lots of other jobs too. Can you think of a time where you had to work together in a team? Benny continues, there are bees who protect the hive from the birds, from the bears, and other creatures who want our honey. Some bees churn the honey, other bees watch over the honey, and there's even a queen bee who makes sure everything is working well. Wow, there's so many different jobs. Which job would you want if you were a bee? Good choice. I would want to churn the honey. Without each bee, we cannot work as a team to make the perfect honey, Benny adds. That's like when my friend Andrew and I make sand castles, exclaimed Celeste. He's really good at making the towers, and I'm the best at digging out the windows. We sure make the perfect sand castles. What about you? What's your favorite thing to help your friends with? I like to help my friend paint her nails, and then she helps me with mine. Looking ahead, Benny and Celeste see the beehive. You found my beehive, Celeste! Thank you for helping me find my home. I couldn't have done it without you, Benny says with excitement. How exciting! What other emotions do you think Benny's feeling? Happiness, relief, surprise. Where have you been, Benny? We've been looking all over for you. We were so worried. Benny's family and friends are all very happy to see him as well. Look at the picture. Look how happy Benny's family and friends look that he's back home. Would you be happy? Thank you too, Benny. I've learned a lot about teamwork. 
Celeste waves goodbye as the recess bell rings, and Benny heads back to his family at the Beehive. The end. What was your favorite part of the story? My favorite part is when Celeste was so happy to help Benny to find his home. He honestly could not have done it without her. Thank you so much for being such a great listener. And remember that teamwork always makes the dream work. That means that achieving your goals is a lot easier when you have a team to help you. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Before we go, I need your help singing that goodbye song. What do you say? Awesome. Okay, remember, I'm going to sing the first part, then I'm going to point at you, and you're going to repeat after me and sing the second part. One and two and three, let's go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. So long. So long. Truly nice to see you. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. See you next time.